next mission, a trip to Mars, astronauts will need a great amount of food and will also produce a great amount of waste. To reduce the immense storage space needed for both the food and the waste, we, T. Boroboros, are proposing a product called the Perpetual Harvest Space Nutrition System. This system will allow composting microorganisms to break down the waste produced by astronauts into a usable fertilizer. This fertilizer, along with the carbon dioxide exhaled by the crew, can be used to grow food crops and produce oxygen. We have designed a compact bioreactor that can accomplish this process autonomously and safely. To simplify the problem of growing food in space, our design cultivates spirulina, a microalgae with soy-like nutritional properties that can be processed into a variety of meals. So, why is this product economically viable? Well. The product would be economically viable because it allows us to lower the cost of shipping food to space in the first place, so you can save on the fuel and the cost. So, less food means a smaller spaceship and a smaller budget. Absolutely. Hey, are there any other applications outside of aerospace sector? Well, in addition to its original aerospace applications, this product could be utilized in inhospitable terrain, such as Antarctica, where it's difficult to transport food. Yeah, and finally, I mean, this chemical process would have applications in the third world um, and in the recycling of agricultural waste. Uh, this chemical process could really make these processes cheap and profitable, especially in a time of diminishing resources.